Oh, hi, sorry, I forgot I hit record. I was just doing my hourly follower check. Up 300 since the last time I looked. And so many new Cauldron members. You guys are seriously making my life. But let's take a moment of silence for the dearly departed, or I mean, the deeply dozing Margot Miller. This week's assignment is right up my alley. The professor has asked us to play a little game of two lies and a truth. <laughs> Classic kooky professor twist on a corporate icebreaker. So I'm gonna give you three statements and all you have to do is detect when I'm not telling the truth. Let's start with this segment I so lovingly call. Nice. Oh, and before I start, let me just say that there is a special prize from yours truly to the person who first identifies my hidden truth. See, deep down inside, Guys just want to be heard, too. And now, nice to deceive you. Statement one. Many of you know I consciously uncoupled with our little bitty college paper, the unmemorably titled Collegiate Press, over their antiquated approach to media regarding fact checking. If the 24 hour news cycle, listicles, and the word allegedly are wrong, then I don't want to be right. It's our duty to get people information as fast as possible. And if the story changes, just implement the three R's. Retract, retract, and retract. Anyways, I digress. But what may have not been public knowledge about me was a coupling, followed by an uncoupling, with a fellow newsroom reporter. While I don't want to name any names, I do find it a bit suspect that this person never revealed our steamy newsroom fling with her very best emo friend. The same melodramatic wannabe super sleuth that I find myself in the Liars Club with. Statement two. Believe it or not, I've never received a score lower than a B on a test. And when I get the A this seminar, I'll be on track to graduate at the top of my class. Honestly, I don't understand why it's so hard to believe that I actually care about my grades. I mean, yeah, I get that I'm eye candy and I'm entertaining and I'm humble too, but I'm packing some serious brains, you know? Statement three. My goal has always been to tell the truth, even if the truth hurts people I care about dearly. Readers come to my site to get the news before the news. The swirl of gossip that only months later hits the front page. Sure, it's a lot of power, but I would never use that power unless it was for the campus good. Well, you made it through. Were you able to spy the lies? I'll let you know down in the comments which was the hidden truth. Until next time, justice for Marco.